Hello students, in this video we will try to understand the term absorption, concept of bioavailability and significance of area under curve that is area under plasma drug concentration time curve. Now this video is a third in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now in simple terms absorption is a movement or transport of drug into the bloodstream after its administration. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say our drug is aspirin. Aspirin is administered orally and it reaches the stomach. Now absorption of aspirin is the movement or transport of aspirin from the stomach fluid across the wall of stomach into the blood. Now very important uh, you should remember that if a drug is given by the intravenous route that is when the drug is injected directly into the blood its absorption is 100%. Now absorption is the movement of the drug into the bloodstream. Now systemic blood circulates throughout the body and thus the blood distributes the drug in all the body tissues including the site of action. So this is how the drug reaches the site of action. So I think the term absorption of drug is clear to you. Now let's move on to the concept of bioavailability. Now absorption of drug determines its bioavailability. Now as we all know absorption is the movement of drug into the bloodstream. Bioavailability is the fraction of drug that reaches systemic circulation in unchanged form. Bioavailability is denoted by the letter F and it is expressed as percent. Now when a drug is given by intravenous route, uh, the drug is directly injected into the bloodstream and thus 100% of drug reaches the systemic circulation in unchanged form and thus bioavailability of a drug given by intravenous route is 100%. Now when a drug is given by a route other than intravenous route its bioavailability is less than 100%. Now this is because of two factors. First is the barrier of uh, absorption so the drug may be incompletely absorbed and second is the metabolism of drug as the absorbed drug may undergo first pass metabolism. Uh, now let's understand concept of bioavailability by taking example of oral route of administration. Let's say our drug is aspirin. Now look at this figure. Our drug is aspirin. Aspirin is administered orally. Aspirin reaches the stomach. Now wall of stomach is made up of phospholipids. So now aspirin has to pass across wall of stomach so as to reach the portal circulation. Now this wall is the first barrier to the absorption of aspirin and the drug may be incompletely absorbed into the portal circulation. But once absorbed, portal circulation carries the drugs to the liver. In the liver, the drug is metabolized for the first time and the process is called as a first pass metabolism. So this first pass metabolism is the second barrier where a part of drug is metabolized. So now the remaining non-metabolized unchanged drug reaches the systemic circulation which is always less than 100% in the roots other than the intravenous route because of barrier of absorption and because of metabolism. Thus bioavailability of the drug administered orally is less than 100%. Uh, now let's understand how to calculate bioavailability. Now bioavailability Bioavailability is calculated using area under the plasma concentration time curve also termed as AUC. Now look at this figure. Now this figure shows plasma drug concentration versus time curve. Now to plot this curve a drug is administered and from time to time blood samples are withdrawn and concentration of unchanged drug is determined in the plasma. Now plasma concentration of the unchanged drug is plotted on the y axis while the time is plotted on the x axis. Now this figure shows 
area under curve of the drug administered IV in the red color and area under curve of the drug administered orally in the green color. Now, when the drug is administered intravenously, C max, that is the uh, maximum plasma concentration, is reached almost immediately. Now, concentration of drug then gradually declines. Uh, there is decrease in the concentration of drug over time because a fraction of drug is getting excreted. Uh, now, if we compare area under curve for the intravenous route with the area under curve for the over oral route. Now, in the intravenous route, maximum uh, drug concentration that is C max is reached almost immediately because the drug is injected directly into the systemic blood. Now, in the oral route, uh, the drug takes much longer time uh, to reach its uh, maximum concentration as the drug has to pass through the wall of GIT like the wall of stomach or the wall of small intestine. Now, secondly, maximum concentration uh, in the intravenous route uh, this is a maximum concentration in the intravenous route. Uh, the C max is much higher than the uh, maximum concentration in the oral route. Now, in the intravenous route, there is no first pass metabolism as the drug is directly injected into the systemic blood. Whereas in the oral route, the drug is partially metabolized in the liver due to first pass metabolism. So the concentration of unchanged drug that reaches the systemic circulation is less. And this fall in the plasma concentration is due to the excretion of the drug from the body. Uh, so now it's clear that uh, bioavailability of intravenous dose of any drug is uh, by definition 100% and hence it is considered as a reference standard and bioavailability of drug uh, administered by other routes is compared to that of the reference standard. So bioavailability of, uh, of an orally administered drug is calculated as a ratio of area under curve of the oral dose to the area under curve of the intravenous dose in 200. So, this is the formula for the calculation of bioavailability. So, this is in brief on absorption, bioavailability and significance of area under curve. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.